Hey guys, how's it going? It's Bill Moore back again with another hot sauce to review for you guys. Now I have the brand new one from Madison's Original uh, located out in Phoenix, Arizona. Now this was sent to me from uh, Brad Child of Madison's Original Hot Sauce. And this is his brand new one. This is the original Ghost Pepper Sauce from Madison. So make sure you check out my uh, first reviews. I did review the original Madison's Original Hot Sauce and the Madison's M Sauce, which is a little bit less spicy than the original, on my channel before. And it says here on his website, Brad says that those were the best accident I've ever made. Uh, so make sure you check out those, re those reviews. And also, that is... President James Madison right there on the label and you can find out about a story about him that uh, Brad has posted on his website as well. Uh, let's go ahead and get into this on the bottle. It says low sodium, gluten free, vegan friendly, 5 calories per serving, low sugar, all natural. Uh, and it says here Madison's ghost pepper sauce goes great with meats, seafood, barbecue, fruits, eggs, favorite sandwiches, hummus, salsa, potatoes, marinade, breakfast, chili, burgers, wings, gumbo, and the list goes on and on and on. All right, well, let's go ahead and get into this. This is really one of the most unique flavors uh, for a hot sauce that I've ever tasted. Um, and let me go ahead and read the ingredients. Uh, we start off, sodium is only 40 milligrams, so that's awesome. So, uh, ingredients, we start off with water, sugar, onions, red bell peppers, cider vinegar, jalapeno peppers, salt, garlic powder, granulated onion, caramel, caramel color, paprika, citric acid, ghost peppers, cayenne pepper, spice, uh, habanero pepper, spice, and xanthan gum. No preservatives. All right, now this has got a, a really nice color to it. It's kind of a nice, rich color. And you can see here that it's not super, super th uh, thick, and it's not vinegary thin either. But it's just got a really nice, uh, fairly smooth consistency and uh, just very pourable hot sauce. Now, there's just something about his sauces that are very, very good. Now, the aroma on this is just that savory, uh, caramelized onion, slight sweetness that you're getting. Now, he really cooks this uh, sauce. I think he's got some type of secrets about it, the way he goes about doing it. But it is cooked. And I think the process that he goes through with these ingredients, you know, and it does start off with the uh, uh, the sugar and the onions and the red bell peppers and vinegar and so forth, that that, that, that sugar and the onions is just kind of caramelized a little bit. So you're getting a very savory. It's not really uh, too much. I wouldn't call it a real, real sweet sauce, but it, it is sweet. But it's a caramelized onion type of sweetness that is just so savory. Uh, it's just... you. You just want to drink it right out of the bottle. It's so good. All right. Very similar in the, in the smell to the originals. Let me go ahead and show you what this one looks like. Now, this one's got ghost peppers in here, so we'll just do a little bit. All right. That should be enough, right? Okay, here we go. Mm. Wow. So, so good. So addictive. Um... Just awesome, amazing. Now, at first I thought, wow, you know, this it's a ghost pepper sauce, but it doesn't seem to be really, really hot. Uh, but the more you use this, the more you give it a chance. And I know my tolerance is very high. I'm a chili head, so, but I've got to keep this real for my one to 10 scale. Um, but anyway, the heat on this builds. It really does. I mean, you got the slow build of the ghost peppers, and that's exactly what the ghost pepper does. But um, let me show you what I did with this one before we start talking about the flavor and the heat. Um, I put this on some pulled pork, which is just fantastic. But another thing I did, and here's a picture of that. Uh, my wife, Mion, cooks one of my favorite dishes. Very simple. It's just meat and potatoes, ground beef, potatoes, onions, and garlic. I put that on some uh, white sticky rice in this sauce. It's just incredible. It's just awesome. This is the type of hot sauce that you could do so many things with. You could use it to mix up with other foods. You could use it as a marinade. You could use it as a glaze. Uh, you could use it like a you know a barbecue sauce or use it as a ketchup. Instead of ketchup, put this on your burger. 
Um, so many things like that. Eggs in the morning is good. It is just really an all-purpose, versatile hot sauce that I think works so well on so many different foods. Just delicious. Really, really good flavor on this one. Strong 9 out of 10. Um, and on the heat, um, I... You know, I'm thinking the four to five category. I know you might, some people might be thinking, wow, that is really low. But um, I will go with a five out of 10 on this one. Uh, but I think for the nine chili head, for somebody, you know, maybe seven, seven or above, for somebody that's not used, it could be extremely hot. But I know my tolerance is high, but I've tasted so many sauces that I've got to keep this, you know, according to my one to 10 scale on my channel. So it's about a medium. Uh, you definitely can tell that it's a ghost pepper burn because you get a nice uh, oven type warmth that's kind of all over. It's not a tongue stingy type burn like a habanero pepper we give you. You can tell that it's ghost pepper heat, but to me, it just seems like it's way subdued a little bit. You know, it's, it's there, but it's just kind of uh, in the background a little bit. Uh, but, uh, you know, so medium heat for me, but much higher. Uh, for somebody who's not used to ghost peppers, but just awesome, delicious hot sauce. Highly recommended. Uh, check them out, guys. Give them a like on Facebook, and the website is madisonshotsauce.com, so make sure you check it out. All of his products are highly, highly recommended. You will not uh, regret purchasing these. Just so delicious. All right, Brad, thank you so much for sending it. I appreciate it, and everybody, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for lots more, and until the next time, you know what to do. Enjoy the burn. We'll see you guys later.